Hi there, this is Mr. Wachholz. Uh, I am uh, the IB history teacher uh, for all of you this year. Um, kind of a different thing happened here because of the COVID and the distance learning and everything. I will actually now be your teacher for two years. Normally it would have been Ms. Elmquist because we do looping, uh, which means that we kind of go back and forth and uh, with the juniors and seniors and juniors and seniors. And instead of me just having the seniors this year, I will have all of you, the juniors, for this year and next year, as well as this year teaching the seniors. So with that said, welcome back to school. I'm gonna start out by just kind of going through the idea of what the history of the Americas course is uh, by giving you kind of a little preview of the syllabus. Um, <clears throat> I'll show you what this looks like in Schoology, but these are the questions I really want you to focus on. So I'd like you to kind of just copy these down. So press pause and do that now. All right, um, so I want you to kind of go through the, uh, the DP syllabus, which you can find if you go into Schoology, you should see these three things on your page and you should be able to find the syllabus right here. Um, but if you made it all the way into uh, that already, you should have found this video, which is in the introduction and it said start here. So hopefully you figured that out and now you're watching this video. Uh, and if you didn't, well, uh, I don't know how that worked. But anyway, you should be opening this and using those questions um, to help guide yourself through here. Um, once you go through and answer those questions, there's gonna be a couple things that I'm gonna go forward on and just point out specifically. So you might wanna pause again, go through and answer those questions on your own. And then when you're ready, come back and I'm gonna point out some specific things. All right, so going through the syllabus again, this is a two year course. Uh, so what we're gonna focus on first is what are we gonna be working towards? And that is these three things. Um, what we are basically doing is that over two years, we are focusing on areas of study that will then be on your diploma exam in your senior year. Um, you know, the hope obviously is by the time you guys are seniors that were through COVID, the pandemic, and that you will take these tests. Um, and essentially what they are is three written tests. And in this year, our junior year, we focus on the paper one and paper two topics. These are all world history topics, uh, minus except for part of the paper one, which deals with the civil rights movement. We start basically with paper two. We look at the topic of independence movements between 1800 and 2000, specifically uh, in first try, we'll look at the Indian independence movement in the uh, 1900s. We'll look at various African independence movements uh, throughout the continent, and then eventually uh, look at the Vietnam independence movement, which is basically the precursor to what eventually happens with uh, the rise of the Vietnam War and the United States being involved. Um, and then eventually we'll get into the 20th century wars in the second try, which are various wars that occurred with different um, prescribed topics and issues. And then we'll get into finally the paper one, which is a case study looking at the civil rights movement versus uh, apartheid in South Africa. Finally, the paper three is what we do in our senior year. And these are specific topics, which you can read here, uh, but we're not gonna get into too much detail about that because it's not going to be until next year. The last thing is the IA. Um, we are not going to do the IA this year. We usually do it in the junior year, but because the seniors didn't get to do it last year, we're going to finish up doing it with them this year. And it's just way too much to have the two classes doing it at different times. Um, so moving forward, uh, as you go down here, you can see what the external and internal assessments are. This just kind of goes through uh, the process of the actual testing and what that looks like in the future. Um, but the next big thing I want you to focus on are the topics, which I talked a little bit about what we'll be doing in the first try. We're going to look at India, uh, then we'll look at specific countries in Africa and their independence movement, and then we'll look at Vietnam. If you want to take a look at the different wars we'll look at in the second try, they're listed here. And then in the third try, the paper one issue information is right there. We'll get into more detail what these things look like specifically, but I just want to get you a background on that. Um, and then there is the year two information, which you can very quickly go through. Uh, <clears throat> listed here on this page, a couple things to focus on are your mindset. Um, the materials, I mean, look, we're in distance learning to begin with. You're just going to need your Chromebook. Um, and eventually, once we get into the hybrid, I'm going to pay a, a quick uh, 
focus on getting as much stuff online to read as I can. We do read a lot of things. So you need to be prepared to be able to do that. Um, we haven't gotten an okay on books yet, um, but once we figure that out, there are actual physical books. So when we get into hybrid, I can actually assign some of those to you and that may make it a little easier for reading and note taking. Uh, the pride information, this is pretty standard. You know, typically in the IB classes, I don't have a lot of issues with the respect and um, the way that you interact with each other. But the one thing I want to point out is the formative work, which gives you some specific information about the types of things we'll do and the summative work. Um, I want you to focus on this thing where there's a little link here you should look at about how all of the formative and summative work will now actually be graded in Schoology. So your ongoing grade should be focused on in there. However, your actual final grade will only be put into Synergy at midterm and final. So there won't be like kind of an updated grade in Synergy. Your updated grade that you'll use will be in uh, Schoology on a daily basis, all right? Otherwise, retake information. You need to make sure that you have any formative work done, and I'll show you a little bit in the week one intro um, after you take the quiz for this uh, first day um, and go into some more specifics as how that applies to like a, an example first week. So other than that, I want you to go back to uh, this little quiz here and just take it. It's really easy. You can have the outline open. I just want to see that you've taken it before you then move on um, to week one. So once you're done with that, head back over into the general.